Machine, Jeff Code, and you're on the list. We can't talk to machines, or can we? On this National Machine Day, Jake Peterson shows how some researchers are using Twitter to help machines talk. Really, machines are so unreliable. It's long been a fascination in movies. I knew you could do it. But now Bay Area researchers are helping us find ways to talk to machines. Are you fascinated by machines? Absolutely. Say hello to David Free's newest baby, Tavros. The USF researchers developing this underwater drone. Not only to report environmental data, but why not make it tweet too? It's a way to engage the public again into the environment. Tavros has more than 350 followers. But that number could go way up, especially if it starts tweeting fishing conditions to Bay Area fishermen. That's a future option for Tavros. Hashtag fun, right? Right now, Tavros has a human helping it tweet, but eventually it could become self-sufficient, kind of like Siri on an iPhone. Although Tavros is already picky about who it follows. Will it follow me? Yeah, yeah, yes, I like it. Yeah. Give us time. Okay, I'll wait for confirmation. I guess I don't have enough followers to pique its interest, but if you want to follow Tavros, we have a link on our website, thelistshow.tv. There are some machines that will never talk, but they sure have us talking. How about taking a ride on the mono wheel? It's kind of like a motorized bicycle with only one wheel. Keep your helmet on for this one. This ride might be a little safer. Joe Tomorrow's rocket ship car is on Clearwater Beach part of the year. What a cool machine to cruise around in. Finally, let's be creative. This lawn care aficionado attached his three-wheel tricycle to his push lawnmower to create his version of a riding lawnmower. Oh, necessity is the mother of all invention. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.